How's it going, everyone? This is Dr. Hefe playing more Disco Elysium. And in the last episode, we hung out with Kuno. We got him to give us some cool new phone track pants. They're looking schnazzy as hell. Yeah, we, we split a kilo with him, but it's all good. Oh, I forgot to check the kilo that he gave us. Where is the key? Wait, we gave him all? We gave him all of our freaking speed? Where... Where's the rest? Dude, we gave Kuno all of our speed, man. He didn't even give us anything back. What the heck? Kuno? I mean, he gave us 70 experience points, but still, it's hella messed up. Oh, I didn't realize I have this thing that actually gives uh, pluses to stuff. Forgot about that one there. But anyway, it's time for us to embrace our inner hobo cop. We finally stood up to Gart at the end of the last episode. We told him no more will we play into his capitalistic charade. We won't pay him for a room. The Why pay for a room when we the can sleep in this beautiful trash container? You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Yes, this is our bed. Time for bed, hobo the cop. The smell of rotten food rises up at you as you climb inside the trash container. Yep, seems pretty good. All right, time for sleep. We got a free bed today. This is where you belong. All right, we're going to meet Kim tomorrow morning. Hopefully you don't smell <laughs> too Disgraced bad. cop. Sleeps in trash. <laughs> what? A deranged law official was found sleeping in a trash container behind oh, the no. woman in rags. A hostile cafeteria in Martinez. God, freaking guards. The establishment had this to say. Freaking guards. Ask for a free room, and I said no. I don't make the rules of the game. I just play my part. Guard freaking murdered us. He got us killed. That is a hilarious end game state. I cannot believe it. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, hardcore music, to to give us some solace for the fact that we lost the game by sleeping in a trash container. All right, all right. Good thing I save. I usually save at the end of every episode so we can just jump right back to where we were. Um, okay. That's a weird one. This is something new. Look at this. All right, maybe we just need to reload the game again. The game may have weirded out after uh, after we lost. Oh yeah, the game is definitely weirding out. Definitely weirding out. Okay. Um, let's just have a little pause and we'll cut right back to it. All right, so I restarted the game, which I do believe has fixed whatever was going on with that graphical glitch. Uh, so Gart, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna play your game. And by game, I mean the game of you convincing me to sleep in a trash container, which causes me to lose the game. Ends my career as a detective. Apparently you can't be a hobo cop, which is kind of sad, like, we have this whole thought process here for becoming the hobo cop, but okay, fine, whatever, dude. Can I help you? Yo. Got the 20 real? Yeah, I got the 20 real, you punk. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. How could anyone forget, asshole? Yeah, how could anyone forget, you frickin' punk? You almost convinced me to go sleep in a trash container outside. Big jerk. What a punk that Gart is. Well, I'm sure we're going to be able to sleep well tonight. After having done... An ungodly amount of drugs. And, uh... But yeah, we did it. We made 
a lot of progress today, so I'm sure it'll be fine. The bed is still cold from the broken window, and not too inviting, but it's yours. You've earned it. Finally, let's go to sleep. It's been a freaking long day, too. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. Hey, I paid for this room. Can we get that window fixed? Come on. Come on, Gart. What kind of cafeteria manager are you? <laughs> Ooh. Here we are again, my broken bot. The waves are coming, carrying you away. But you can't go. No. You have to stay always half aware of yourself. Man, insomnia would be freaking horrible. Like, on top of every other thing that we're dealing with. But doing a lot of drugs does make it hard to sleep. That You're is true. You're not cooperating, brother man. What are you talking about? Why am I not cooperating? What? It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. But you cannot because of the pain. What are you talking about? I... I took a bunch of drugs. I should not be feeling any pain. And there's a lot of it ever present in your organs. It's like every one of them is their own nasty song to sing. I shouldn't be feeling the pain. I should have been numbing the pain. What are you talking about? Every cell in your body is moaning in agony, asking, what did we ever do to you? This body's worthless anyway. It's the system's fault. Surely not my fault. It is definitely not my fault. It's the system's fault. Yes, your body is a system and it's failing you because you're failing it. I'm an artist and liver damages my art. Oh my god. Um Yeah, what the heck is this? I was on the express to zero home, whatever that is, but I don't want to I don't want to say all these sad sounding options. Now you've gone off the rails, baby. Now you're stuck sitting here by the tracks, admiring the wreck around you. You just can't help it, looking at yourself. The sum total of your accomplishments. You're just stuck here in the half world. Could try looking at other people, really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? These are interesting options. Human beings will always betray you. That doesn't seem right. Kim has been our our homeboy. Although Titus and Clossier, oh my goodness, I would probably say that after this. It's been a pain in the ass talking to those two. I will. I'm looking at people all the time. I like them. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, just get me out of here. Oh, baby boy. You're already in the other place. There's no nourishment for you tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe if you, you know, like, took a lot of drugs before you <laughs> Thanks, go to sleep, electrochemistry. that'd do the trick. You think so? I took a bunch of drugs. Maybe if you weren't so hard on yourself. Aw, empathy's being so kind. What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Look at all these lights blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! You're just pretending that you're asleep, even to yourself, while the world goes on without you. Let it. Let it. Oh, okay. Reptilian, reptilian brain's excited. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Oh, thank you, Limbic System. We're ready to disco again today. It's another day, a new day, a new day for disco.
Oh, look at us. I mean, that was pretty restful. We got our health and our morale back. I don't know what my body's talking about. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling excellent. Got those new fallen pants. Yeah, look at us. We got, we got levels here. We got a map. Why is this map always trying to talk to me? It wants me to click on things, I think. Is that, is that, are you happy now, map? Okay, the map's happy. Of course the map's happy. All right, let's uh, continue on our ways. We got to get over to the other side, the other side of Martinez. Hopefully that water lock will be fixed by now. Um, good morning. What's up, Kim? We got some new people to talk to. I guess we could talk to them. They kind of have like the doesn't this look like RCM gear? What's up, dudes? You look like shit. And I don't mean that as a metaphor. No, you don't. You look like a young god. Yeah, well, how come I can't say that? I don't look like shit. Say nothing. Just flex. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's the fucking muscle thing. Hell yeah, man with sunglasses. Check out these muscles. Oh, come on, John. Horse it looks like woman. it's been a rough week on him. It's not just this week. What do you want? Something strange about this guy. Okay. I'll see him around. You know what? I got a spear decor stuff. Watch out for yourself, loser. Dude. What a freaking mean asshole. I want to figure out what the hell this guy's problem is. This gives me a spear decor. Any of these other ones do? Disco ass blazer. You no, know we're gonna figure this guy out. This one should have. What? This one doesn't give it to me? Inland Empire and Empathy, huh? You know what? <laughs> Let's just do some drugs in front of this guy. Oh, we got our we got our uh, speed back. For some reason, I thought it was gone when I gave it to Kuno. Okay. Um. You know what? We're, we're gonna figure something I out. I can't believe this shit. All right, let's let's try it. This something oh, that my binds goodness. you to him. Some kind of an outfit, maybe a uniform. And a firefighter's Exacto uniform. Mundo. I don't think he's a firefighter. I'm not gonna ask that. Of course, you don't have to. You can talk about anything you want. Okay. See you around, dude. You know what? We can up our spear decor. We have so many freaking skill points. There's part of me that really does want to take some drugs right now, but maybe we shouldn't. I can't believe this shit. There's something oh, that binds you to him. Yes. The nurses in uniform? Nurses. Why not? No, no, of no. Of course, you don't have to. Okay. See you around, dude. You know what? Let's just dump all of our skill points in. We got this. We got this. Again? I can't Here we go. Give me a good roll. Oh my god. You, yes. you know what? Nurses. But are you nurses. a male nurse? You know what? We're just going to ask it now. Why, yes. Yes, I am a male nurse. How could you tell? I can see into the ether. Oh, you've done a lot more with ether than just look into it. This was stupid. I shouldn't have. All right. I got some questions for you. I'm a cop. About what? You don't look like a cop. You know what you look like? Uh, like a prophet? Not the prophet sheet again. He didn't answer your question. Who does this asshole think he is? A cop. Now, will you answer some questions for me? No. Why not? Because it's not my job. Why don't you go and fucking do yours and solve this damn hanging? You don't want to answer questions. Maybe you want to hear me say things? <laughs> Oh, he didn't have his voice line. Actually, I don't want to hear you say things. Come on, Jean. Okay, say things. I want to hear you say things. Hear that? He wants you to say things. Say one. Suddenly, out of nowhere, case-related things start popping up in your head. Wow, there's all this information here. Okay, this person was shot, then made to look by his hanged. He might have been shot by the people who hanged him. 
person who we think shot him, who made it look like he was hanged. That's what we're looking for. We can't find her. Okay. I like all these different options. Yeah, all right. Let's 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 tell this guy this thing. Well, where have you looked for her? We think she may be on the coast. West of here? Tough luck. The place is ruined from the bombardment. A lot of places to hide there. Well, yeah. Hey, why am I telling you these things? I don't know. Why are you? You know what? It must be because he's, he's buff. buff. <laughs> he looks like he works out. Like he's got the devil on his back. All right. Oh, my God. There's more. You want something more? What is it? Okay. Can I talk about it again? Okay. Why not? Let's do the old thing over again. We're not wasting time. There is no time. All right, all right. Well, we got nothing to say about this. You, I don't know. Oh, my God. There. All right, we'll see you around. How about we talk to this woman? She may be more helpful. The woman in an RCM patrol officer's uniform winces as she notices you. So we know she's wearing an RCM uniform, but we have to use a spear decor to realize this guy's in an RCM uniform? I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. A patrol officer is the lowest rank in the RCM. Below lieutenant and sergeant. Hold on, you're a patrol officer of the RCM. Yes, I am. I'm a cop too. I know. Here's the real deal. Here's the real deal. Thank you, Kim. I knew Kim always had my back. I'm on a murder investigation. Are you the cavalry? I'm definitely not the cavalry. Oh. Is everything all right? Why don't you want to talk to me? I don't know. I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? <laughs> but I bring joy to the world. Why? I bring word of the end to come. Of course he does. <laughs> nice. Word of the end to come. Okay, fine. Let's talk. What did you want? You're police, right? Cool. So am I. I don't... I don't <laughs> know what to say. Don't say anything, Judith. Wait, is he police? Do, of course he's police. Me? No. I'm just a man with sunglasses. I like wearing sunglasses inside. Sunglasses and a fucking wig. What are you, the police, doing here? I'm just looking out for... You? For me? They are my backup. No one. I'm just a man with sunglasses, and you are... Oh, that's so mean. A policewoman, right? I mean, no, let's let them finish the statement. I just want to do my job, that's all. Uh, are you with him? Of course I'm with him. Why do you ask? You look cute together. <laughs> Seems like a cool guy. He's an asshole. He is kind of an asshole. Uh, I don't know. These are all kind of, kind of, I mean, where he's right there. He's going to hear us. Yeah, nothing. Just wondering. The sooner you figure this hanging out, the sooner everyone can go home. So precinct are you from? What precinct? Am I from? God, he doesn't know. Fucking deranged lunatic. All right, dude. Chill Again? the fuck out, man. I can't believe this shit. Oh, nice. We got a plus one for bouncing ideas off of him. Here we go. You know there what we it go. is. It's like the two of you know each other. Just ask him. Tell me the truth. Do you know me from somewhere? Oh, I definitely know you from somewhere. Another life. From where? Another life? This is this is getting strange already. I don't know if we want to say these things to the police. Yes, from another life. A different life. Maybe the life of a police officer belonging to the ranks of the... To what station do you think you would belong in this alternate and totally fictional reality? Oh, crap. What am I supposed to be part of? Am I part of the 41st? I think 41st is Jamrock, right? Okay, okay. That's plausible. That's entirely plausible. Now we're really getting somewhere. Somewhere good. Let's talk more about that hypothetical Station 41. Oh, the hypothetical 41. Yeah. Oh, no, I have to do it in his voice. Oh, the hypothetical 41. Yes, let's fantasize about that. I'm not busy, and you're not busy. Let's just play around. So what would be our relationship in this alternate universe? Let's be crazy. Let's say you and I are partners. How's that for a thought experiment? <laughs> partners in crime. 
Kim's cooler than you. <laughs> I'm sure he's fucking flattered, but Kim is not part of his thought experiment. In this one, we are partners. The lieutenant is silent. I mean, he seemed kind of cool. Would you now? Or would I be cramping your style? Never mind, partner. Okay, actually, you probably would cramp my style. I don't know. I mean, do you do drugs a bunch like I do? Oh, God. I'd hate for that to happen. You know what might help prevent that, though? Uh, no, tell me. You doing your fucking job. Oh. So, not doing drugs all day. So, do you have a crime to solve? Oh, that's so weird that all of his little voice lines are cut out. I mean, I do enjoy doing his voice lines, though. Oh, no, no, no. You see, I enjoy watching other better cops solve crimes. And let me tell you, it's been quite a privilege seeing you work. This isn't helping. <laughs> Dude, so this guy is my partner, and he's just here to freaking make fun of me in my drunken and deranged state. That's pretty sad. What else is in our imaginary police station? You're not going to believe this, but police officers. Yes, sir. Solving crimes, looking at bad guys, and, and get this, and not getting that drink on at 2 o'clock. Just some regular boring motherfuckers in suits and uniforms. Nothing spectacularly extravagant like you, the far-out son of Lung. Wow. I even have a nickname. That's a pretty good nickname. Better than Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. Oh, it's cut out again. Who is the far out son of Lung? Oh, it's you, you eccentric genius. He winks at you sarcastically. I mean, with your unorthodox approach to police work, it has to be you. Want to tell me more about him? Or her? <laughs> Not even a little bit. It's an urban myth about an officer who is so far undercover he can't remember who he is. As I said, just an urban myth. You are not the son of Lang. No, oh, but maybe that is why I can't remember. I'm just too far undercover. He's trying to protect you from further rough handling, dished out by the sunglassed man. All right. Neither can I, partner. Neither can I. His gray eyes suddenly flash above the glass frames. They feel sad. Aw. Dude, my old partner is sad. It's a mere second, but it feels like you saw something. A gram of compassion in that sadness. All right, see you around, dude. Okay, the man with the sunglasses and his hypothetical Station 41. Weird, right? I mean, it was kind of weird. The fact that he wouldn't say that he was my partner and that I've forgotten everything about my past, but yeah. There's something missing here. Something you can't put our finger on. You know what? Just ask him. I know it sounds crazy, and you'll probably get laughed at, but still. Yeah, I should just ask him if we're from the same station. Why do we, yeah, why do we do all these hypothetical thought experiments? Yes, just cross it off the list. It's probably not true, though. Okay, I Again? guess so. I can't believe this shit. Look, I just have to ask. Are we from the same police station? Is he going to laugh at me? He's going to laugh at me. I'm going to say no. Just to see what you'll say to that. What'd you say? Okay. Okay? Jean, he said okay. Give it a rest. Okay. I was clearly wrong. He is a firefighter, male nurse, animal control agent. Something of that kind. Not a cop. Go on with your cop work. Don't let me stop you again. No. He's messing with us. It's kind of sad. I mean, we're... Us as a character is kind of sad. But... Who knows? Perhaps they're here to, you know, take care of us. Make sure that we haven't gone too far out. Since we are the far out son of Lung, apparently. Here's another trash can. Some dudes over here. Has the thing been fixed? Can we go over to the other side? The rusting control panel with loose wires dangling out from the hole where an indicator light used to be and a mechanical lever sitting in the middle. Let's pull it up. 
Grab the handle, pull it up. The water lock starts yeah. Moving. Oh, look at that animation, baby. Turn, baby, turn. Disco Inferno. Turn, baby, turn. Water lock starts moving. All right, we can go to the coast now. Expect rugged terrain and drugs. Sweet. Let's do a little bit of investigating. I think we're going to be close to ending it for the day, but let's investigate a little. We're over here. Found some cash money. We have a radio relay humming with electricity. Oh, we're almost getting to the end of this one. Our fair weather tea boots. I feel kind of bad that we spent all of our experience, but we have like two points left over. Does it really matter? Breaker box to the power radio pylon above you. Maybe there's something inside. Let's loot it up. We found some more credits. I forgot we can cash in that uh, giant novelty check. Hopefully we won't need money over here. Probably not. Interesting that some things are like yellow and blue. Maybe like if I have different skills, different things get highlighted. Yes, yes, my thought. More abandoned motor lorries. Oh, on this side too. Yeah, because the drawbridge is down. All due to Joyce. But Joyce. For some reason, I'm mixing Joyce with Everard. Joyce Everard? That is not. That is not correct at all. Found some drugs. Good times. Well, look at these Jamrock Biker Cop Sunnies. Getting our empathy up. Hell yeah! What's going on with this? For taking your Harmel Rue supersonic out for a ride on the streets of Jamrock, where your heart is buried. Plus one empathy, feel the streets. Minus one logic, leave the reason behind. You know what? Let's roll with it. Yeah. We needed a little change up to our, our look. No entry with the inverted star. I believe the inverted star means uh, communism. Somebody's s scrawling some communist graffito. Someone's broken down the fence and the barbed wire. Is there clues in here? The wind is corralled by the four-story buildings around this yard. You're saying it's windy in here. The swing is missing. No one's been here for a long time. Dude, we're finding all sorts of money. No wonder they wanted to keep us out of this part of town. We're gonna be rich, we can quit our day job. Glory to the ghosts of us. Sounds kind of sad. Making all kinds of money, man. I don't know why anyone in Martinez is poor. Someone's left their music collection beneath the tarpaulin. The smallest church in Sanse. Okay. Uh, tape you found from a shack on the coast. The A side has smallest church in Sanse written on it, while the B side is supposed to contain an instrumental version. It requires a boombox to play. The porter reel is just what you needed. The reels attached to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is routed behind the magnetic reader. Yeah, let's play you it. You press the large button marked Commence, and the tape starts spinning. There's a small delay before the song starts playing. Oh, dude, we're going to press our ear against the speaker for sure. It sounds like someone's moving in the room, getting comfortable. Then the organ starts playing a simple, melancholic tune echoing in the hallway. A lone singing voice joins in, telling you about the tiniest church in Sessons, surrounded by even tinier yard. You almost feel the seaside mist on your skin. It's mega sad. Mega sad. Sessons. That's much better than how I was pronouncing it before. The smallest church in Saison. Within seconds you know, this is the one. The real shit you've been looking for. The one you trust your room to. This one tells it like it is. This is your tune. A click, then silence for a bit. Then the tape stops spinning. <laughs> Look at these. Scratch 
No, I couldn't. It's too sad. I might cry and trash the room again. Scratch that. I'm already crying and I look dumb and old. No way. We're going to sing it for the karaoke. Of course you could sing this. You could take sad to a whole new level with this. And you already know the lyrics since you've listened to it, like, a million times. And the B-side of the tape contains the instrumental version. It's like the world itself is telling you to do it. Only one obstacle stands on your way. What? What obstacle could stop me from singing my heart out to karaoke? God, you have to convince God to let you sing karaoke in the whirling. After you've won him over, you can express yourself. Let the pain out. Make everyone understand. The lieutenant watches you pack up the boombox. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> He's like, great. I'm glad that, you know, we're on the track of someone who may have murdered the hanged man. We may be getting close to solving the case, but no, no. You take your time. You listen to this tape on the boombox. Oh, we have this bullet, too, that we didn't interact with, apparently. The bullet is safely sealed away in a plastic bag bearing the RCM stamp. Kim has filled out the label on the bag with the item number, case number, and date and location the bullet was found. What do I do with you, bullet? Yes, let's talk to the inanimate objects. What? I said, what do I do with you, bullet? <laughs> well, if I was the bullet, which I'm not, I would say, find the weapon that shot me. All right, that's a pretty good idea. If we find who owns it, we will have likely found who used it, possibly to kill our victim. In conclusion, the more we know about this bullet of yours, the better. All right, we'll feel the bullet then. The squashed bullet has some sharp edges where the jacket has split open. It feels cold, even through the bag. All right, we'll inspect it a little bit closer. The jacket of the bullet is made of a yellowish metal. It has blossomed out to reveal a dark gray core. The base of the bullet is close to five millimeters in diameter. Let's look at the jacket of it. I'm assuming it was not full metal jacket. Actually, if it probably if it was, it would probably would have gone straight through that dude's head. You can just about make out a few strations near the base of the bullet. Little hairlines, linear. It feels standard. Okay, feels standard, and the core. It's quite destroyed. Some of the fragments are still lodged in the wound. What can you say about the bullet so far? Wow, I actually know this. Hey, come on. We have shown amazing detective skills all along. It's time for us to stop being surprised. It's a jacketed bullet, close to five millimeters in diameter. A jacketed bullet. Okay. It would have been shot from a military-grade breech-loading rifle. Not from a muzzle loader like those typically found on the streets of Martinez. Wow. Military. Huh. I mean, that would seem to suggest that maybe someone was coming to take out either Classier or... Uh, what's what's his name? Lely. Since, since Classier does believe that the military or some organizations after her. And Lely has so many run-ins with the military. We were right. This came from a serious weapon. Even the RCM uses ordinary and jacketed conical bullets. This is strange. Very strange. I like this, officer. Strange means unique. Unique means incriminating. We need to find a gun that shot it. Oh. I w yeah, I guess maybe it's the same as this rifle that we have. Do we have anything that uh, increases our hand-eye coordination? I would be very surprised if we do. I don't remember any of our clothes having anything to do with that. Oh, the pinball machine jacket. Of course. Of course. I mean, that does make sense that it would have hand-eye coordination associated with it. Um, yep. Clicking all the wrong buttons again. Let's interact the with bullet this. Is still safely sealed oh, away look at this. In a plastic bag. A Give me a good roll. Revolutionary period. Your bullet looks to be an old 4.46 millimeter from the surplus left over from the turn of the century. Probably an antique or a retrofitted antique. Wow. We are pretty good at this. And the make of it? The 4.46 caliber was widely used with the Belmagrave rifle, a Revacholian manufacturer, 
The BM dominated the battlefields of the Insulindian Theater of the Anti Centennial Revolution 50 years ago. Mm. So someone did use one of those antique rifles to shoot our victim. Incidentally, you have just such a rifle with you. The dusty old thing you found hidden in the basement below the commercial area. It's unusable, sadly. If it were, the bullet would probably fit the chamber. Interesting. Anyone still making these rifles? Why would they make a rifle from 50 years ago? There has to be better technology by now. No, but Zeliga, a major firearm manufacturer, ended up with a surplus after the war. So there are still a lot of these old military rifles floating around, usually broken. The quality was appalling. So yeah, oh, if the quality was appalling, who would use them these days? Antiques enthusiasts, guerrilla fighters in distant countries, a few lucky jamrock bangers. You're looking for the same thing you found in that hidden weapons cache, only in working order. Okay, so it's not super rare of a gun. Somebody could have it, not just the military. Hmm, what are you thinking? Bullet? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's talking to the bullet as well. Unless he's talking to us. But I prefer to think he's talking to the bullet. I think I know where I, this came from. Okay. And? Shot probably came from a Bell Margrave rifle. An antique. That makes sense. There can't be many breech loading rifles floating around in Martinez or anywhere in Ravachon, really. Why not? I thought we just had a thought that some people could have it. Sure, there's some arms trafficking. But the laws prohibiting the use of breech loaders we inherited from the monarchy have been effective, from what I've seen. Oh, interesting. They have gun control laws here. That would explain why, you know, we can just walk around <laughs> doing ridiculous things and nobody's pulled a piece on us yet. Some new RCM recruits get impatient with their muzzle loaders once they've trained with military-grade weapons. But they realize it's worth it in the end. We should have more powerful guns. Where the law? Imagine if everyone, cops, citizens, had access to firearms that could shoot multiple rounds without pausing to reload. After the first shot, the second, third, and so on come much easier. Yeah. But back to the investigation. Hmm. Interesting ideas. A victim mixed up with some foreign guerrilla fighters? I mean, that would make the most sense, I would think. Let's find out. Next step, finding the gun itself. This, this is a very short thing where they're talking about gun control and gun restrictions. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. It is a... <laughs> that's one spicy topic there. Oh, we got we got all sorts of dots popping up. Birds in the birch tree, barely audible coos come from above. And this. Rust peels off the bent iron posts of the swing. The wind whistles through the skeleton of the small house behind you. There's desolation everywhere. Yet someone used to live here, laugh here. Thought it was a good idea to build a swing, even. Oh, that is kind of trippy. Yeah, what happened here? In this yard? No, I mean, like, in the world. Someone thought they could have a summer house in a block obscure, for cheap. It didn't work out. They abandoned it about a decade ago. Yeah, what the hell is a block obscure? A black block. A part of the city left and renovated after the war. Or one that has fallen to gang violence. Or has become inhospitable in some other way. Hmm. So just like a rundown part of town. So this part of the coast is a block obscure? Practically. It's not an official term in any way, but look around. No sewage, broken power lines, crime, drunks. Life is tough in the blocks. It's no place to build a summer house. At least they left some old music behind. Hell yeah. Yes. And you picked it up because you're a post-apocalyptic scavenger who collects trash and magnesium <laughs> blisters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're playing a Fallout game here. Or Wasteland. We gotta be ready for anything. It's not meant as nagging. Just an observation. I feel like the game developers knew who this game would appeal to. Like, there's definitely a lot of references to other games that I've played, um, including Fallout and Wasteland. Um, so, yeah, it makes sense. We should move. 
I don't think our suspect is in this particular yard. No place to hide. And besides, it's too close to Martinez. Okay, thank you, Kim. So, next time we'll continue exploring the coast. You know, we're getting some levels up. We found out more about the bullet. Um, maybe giving us some future clues to go forward with. Maybe we'll investigate this busted up car. But yeah, we'll save that for next time. Till then, do remember, as always, to take care of yourself and keep it disco, baby. Mm. <laughs>